Hey guys, so um, today we are running some errands. Um, we did some stuff at the house this morning, but um, right now we are running some errands and we are going to test out our new mini educator. So we have a mini educator, but now we have the finger trainer as well. So we are going to try that out and see if it works any better or worse. You know, we'll see. So really excited to try that. Hello. So to test out our new uh, mini educator with finger trainer, um, we decided to take our load to a local park for the beginning part of our testing just to see how it does kind of long distance um, in like a big field with, you know, possible things that could be in between it like trees or playground equipment, stuff like that. Um, and we let him run around, let him play a little bit, um, explore, and we tested for uh, different things with like recall and um, listening to long distance commands, stuff like that. Um, Arlo did really well, um, as she usually does during these sorts of testings. Um, he listened really well, so it did really seem like the uh, e-collar worked well, which was great. So we did test the uh, half mile range, and it is actually sometimes even a little bit longer than that, um, but depending on like what you're around, it can be shorter as well. Um, but three different stimulation modes are supported on it as well. We tested all three of them. All of them seem to work really well. Um, he listened to basically all of them. <gasps> oh my God. As you can see, we had a lot of fun testing. Um, but the nicest part about this whole thing is obviously the finger trainer button. So um, it has a really nice little Velcro strap that's really light, so it's not like annoying and obvious that it's on you all the time. Um, it's not too bulky, so even me with my teeny hands, I was able to have it on and like not have too many problems. And then of course we did also test it out in a working environment. Um, so we went into a couple stores, dressing rooms, areas like that electronic store and I, I worked with him with the collar on just to make sure there wasn't any like huge difference between the mini educator and the finger trainer and it really was only the benefit of also having the finger button. That seemed to be the case. Um, basically the remotes are identical um, so there wasn't really any difference there. The only thing that was sort of weird is you know having to change the batteries on the little finger button. That's the only thing that I would really suggest that they change. Um, the radius is the same, everything else is the same, all the button setup is exactly the same. Um, so I didn't really have that much of a problem like transitioning from my original mini educator to the finger trainer. Um, it wasn't like an issue at all. The only thing is like forgetting to use the finger button. So like I would consistently forget that I had it, which was sort of frustrating. Um, but um, the on off button is exactly the same. Everything on the remote is the same. So I would say that it's pretty simple um, to transition between the two. If you're nervous about that, don't be. It's really simple. Um, and it's, it's great for working dogs because I think that it just, it's really helpful when you don't have to hold that big bulky thing all the time because a lot of people who have service dogs, their main focus shouldn't always be their dog when they're out. Their main focus should be on whatever they're out for. So if you have to, um, you know, do different things, your dog should be able to listen uh, and not have to hold, like, not take up a giant space in your hands. So having, like, the finger trainer is a lot more helpful in the way that it's not taking up, like, that huge amount of space that the regular remote would. Um, and it's really discreet as well for people who might be a little bit more nervous about, like, people seeing that you're holding an, um, an e-collar remote and like they know that you're doing stimulus on your dog. So like I've had people judge me like that before for things like that as well and I've constantly been nervous about it. So the discreetness of the finger trainer ring was a really nice change to 
like, you know, the judgment of before. I didn't get any questions about it like I normally would, um, which, I don't know, could be a benefit for some people who like to be advocates. For me, I just like to get, go on with my day. So um, having it be a little bit more discreet was a nice change for us. Um, the finger trainer button, like the actual button that goes on your finger, does seem to have a smaller um, radius. So like you won't be able to do the half mile that you normally would with the regular remote. However, I'd say that if it is on your finger that you might be like less needing to do like long range corrections so i would say that it's a it is a um worth it uh loss there i would say that it is definitely worth it to be able to um have it be so much smaller so much lighter so much more discreet um that sort of thing i would say that that's definitely worth it um in the long run Again, I would say that the only thing that I would really change if it were my product and I was able to like change things about it, the only thing that I would change would be the fact that you can't recharge the finger trainer. You have to put new batteries in it. That sort of sucks, especially for people who work their dogs all the time. Um, those batteries, I mean, we didn't notice them draining quickly at all. Like for us, that was not like a problem. But then again, I wasn't using the finger trainer solely, so like I wasn't using it by itself. I had the remote with me as well. So yeah, that's just about everything that we had to say about the new uh, finger trainer. It's been great for us. I am still really enjoying using it after a couple months of use. Um, so it's still great. I love it. it. We keep it around all the time, you know. Um, and the finger button has been helpful, although I still keep forgetting to use it. Um, but when we do test it out, it always works great. So that's probably the only thing I would change is the battery thing, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in whatever we make next.